all know that in engineering, we are actually studying more than 50 plus subjects, right? And we know that some subjects are very important. Some subjects are not very important as compared to the others. Now, which all subjects will help you to get in the core fields or will help you to get into the core companies? Let us see. Because a lot of people do ask me over the mail and also in the comment session that which all subjects they should focus more on for getting uh, a job in the core company. Okay, so I'm here with a small solution for those candidates or those people who are actually confused after studying all these subjects that which all subjects are really important, which all subjects are the companies asking for when they are going to recruit or hire these people. Okay, so I'm here with a small solution. And also before going into the video, I want to tell you that more than 70% of the people are still watching the channel without subscribing to it. So please do subscribe to the channel if you're finding the videos useful. Okay, so uh, let us move on to our topic. Okay, so I have actually done a survey regarding uh, like I have taken the companies, uh, their services, their products and try to analyze that what are really their products, what are really their services and which all subjects you will have to uh, study to uh, work to work in that area or to get into that company. Okay, so let us have a quick uh, quick view on all these companies, their areas, their products, and then we'll analyze that which all subjects we really require to work there. Okay, so before going into the company details and all, I'll directly give you which all subjects are most important. Then we'll see. Okay, so the subjects that you should be studying so that which will be useful for your in your future. Okay. So you should study this subject with that much of importance. Okay, so the first subject is basic electronics. We all know that basic electronics means covering of your basic electronic components, the processors and all. Okay, so it is the base of your electronics brand. So you cannot study just for the exam. You have to study that uh, it is for your lifetime, for your future also. Okay, so basic electronics is very important. Then digital electronics, analog electronics, if you are going to any company, these two subjects will be useful. We know that uh, in all core companies of electronics, there will be some ICs, there will be some digital logic required. Okay, so digital electronics and analog electronics are must study subjects and you cannot just study that for your exam. You have to study by understanding each and every concept thoroughly. Okay, so that are the two subjects which I have listed out nextly. Then network theory, again, which will be very useful for solving the circuit related problems, network related problems. So very useful subject. So study it by understanding the concepts, the theorems and everything. Okay. Then VLSI, especially for the product development companies like Dell Technologies and all those, you require some basic knowledge in VLSI design. Okay. So VLSI is a very important subject. At least try to study uh, the CMOS uh, technology, the chip uh, manufacturing, fabrication, IC manufacturing, all those things. Okay. Then mu P and mu C. If you do, uh, do not study these two subjects, microprocessor and microcontroller, then means that your uh, engineering study is incomplete. Okay. So you should be having a very thorough knowledge, very detailed knowledge regarding microprocessor and microcontroller and also assembly language programming. Okay, I'm not saying that you should master the assembly language programming, but you should at least try to uh, like familiarize with what all the instructions are. The basic programming you should be at least knowing. Okay, next one. Electronic devices and circuits plus semiconductor theory. Actually, the EDC is also covering the basics of semiconductor theory also. That's why I've, uh, I've written it as EDC plus semiconductor theory. Okay, you should be having a very good understanding then networking it's not network theory it is networking computer networking that is it is covering tcp ip then uh, the networking protocols all those things a lot of companies are only networking oriented itself so like cisco in order to get into these companies you should have a very good understanding of networking and also if you see the recruitment news or recruitment notifications you'll uh, see that mostly all companies are asking for the knowledge in TCP IP protocols, the computer networking area and all. Okay, So it is very useful. Next subject is embedded systems. Nowadays, a lot of demand is actually there for embedded systems. So if you are studying in your first year, please hear this carefully. Embedded system is going to be the trend for the next era. So 
embedded system is very important you should study it with as much as importance and also if you have done uh, your b b tech then it will be very useful if you done uh, if you have done some courses or there is six months course or some certifications in embedded systems then it will be very useful okay so this is my uh, suggestion you can have a different opinion also you should study the subject also you don't need to do the course okay anyway embedded systems is going to be really trendy okay next one wireless technology especially for the company like qualcomm they are mostly concentrating on wireless technology so for attending the interviews and all you will have to uh, have the basic knowledge at least for wireless technologies okay next one analog and digital communications again a very important subject because we know that a lot of consumer based companies consumer product based companies develop the communication products okay so for that you should be requiring analog plus digital communication okay next one dsp dsp is a very important subject dsp and signals and system actually i have written both together okay dsp and signals and systems this uh, area or the subject is actually uh, requiring for signal acquisition data acquisition all these things so a lot of people they are even though they are not uh, using these subjects as a as a front end they'll be using all these technologies in the back end at least okay that is they'll be using these technologies for developing or for data acquisition all these okay next one electronic measurement and instrumentation so if you are in, if you are interested into the core companies you will have to work with the resistors all those things right that is in the consumer electronics companies like philips or samsung all these companies you have to work with the designing of uh, the components and all so for that case electronic measurement and instrumentation will be very much useful okay next one control systems again a common subject for mostly all companies then power electronics and another important subject i've written is radio and television okay some companies is actually mainly focusing on this television manufacturing or picture tube manufacturing so for that you have to have a basic knowledge okay so these are the subjects which i have listed out i'm not saying that don't study the other subjects but when studying these subjects you should be studying in that way that you will use the subjects in your future that is when you are trying for a job these subjects will be useful okay and also if you see the latest recruitment news a lot of organization that is government companies and also government organizations is also asking for these subjects for their recruitment process okay so it will be very useful if you study these subjects thoroughly like understanding every topic in study okay now we'll just see which all companies are focusing on which all areas and which all subjects will be useful in those companies okay next we are going to see that which all companies are focusing on which all areas and services and which all subjects you will really find useful in these companies okay and also i've done another uh, video on the core companies of electronics and also uh, I, in that video i have mentioned that which all are the core companies what are their products what are their services where is their headquarters and also where are their branches in india so if you are uh, interested in knowing this core company related informations then uh, please check out the description i'll be putting that link in description okay so here we are going to see about the subject voice like based on focusing on the subjects that are required okay first company is qualcomm okay so qualcomm is mostly a wireless technology or wireless uh, area oriented company so wireless technology are, is their main focus they are now into uh, developing of the 5g technology that is 1g 2g all these are their contributions actually so the wireless technology uh, is their focus mainly okay they have a lot of patents in uh, the techniques like cdma all those areas correctly you will get to know if you see the uh, the the video on the core companies okay so that the area is wireless technology so the subjects that you will have to study for this company recruitment or for getting or working into this company is wireless technology and wireless various wireless standards like wcdma cdma all those areas okay so wireless technology is the subject you have to focus more next one and also another subject is analog communication digital communication we know that this wireless technology has a lot of uh, interlinking connection with communication systems right so you have to study that also analog and digital communication plus wireless technology next one intel intel is actually a 
it's a company which is manufacturing of processors okay so here your focus should be more on that is when you are preparing for intel or its interview your focus should be more on the vlsi technology ic designing especially then embedded systems microprocessor microcontroller semiconductor it is they are actually semiconductor chip manufacturers they manufacture flash memory embedded processors and all okay so you should be mostly studying the microprocessor microcontroller and also embedded systems vlsi design all these uh, subjects to get into this company or if you are a uh, if you are a person who is studying in the first year or second year and if intel is your job or intel is your dream then you should study these subjects very thoroughly okay this company is cisco so we all know that cisco is a networking based company they actually manufacture hardware and software mostly focusing on networking okay so in order to get into this company or if cisco is your dream then you should study more on the networking computer networking computer protocols and also communication systems mainly okay so that should be your focus because when you are working with uh, cisco you should have to use these technologies okay next dell dell is a computer manufacturer we all know that it develops sells repairs and support computer and computer related products so when manufacturing of computers you will have to uh, have a idea regarding basic electronics also vlsi then ic designing microprocessor microcontroller again we will be using this microprocessor microcontrollers and all in this computer manufacturing so all these things are useful or all these subjects are useful okay next national instruments company is national instruments okay so national instruments is actually it is a producer of automated test equipments and virtual instrumentation software labvi is actually a product from national instruments okay so they are mainly uh, focusing on data acquisition automated test uh, testing uh, instruments or development all these are their areas okay so their main focus is on data acquisition instrumentation control and machine vision so in order to attend the company's interview or in order to work in this company the subjects that uh, are useful will be dsp digital signal processing because we know that data acquisition and digital signal processing go side by side because they are a lot of interconnected because for acquiring the signals or data we focus on dsp methods or dsp algorithms okay and also another important subject is signal and system it will be very useful and uh, that third subject i have listed out for this company is emi that is electronic measurement and instrumentation because their uh, main focus is on data acquisition instrument control and machine vision okay so these subjects will be very useful in this organization okay next next company that i have listed out is samsung okay samsung we all know that samsung is more a consumer electronics based company okay so they are uh, actually the manufacturers of it is a multinational electronics company actually so they mainly focus on consumer electronics electronics uh, various equipments they manufacture so for this company you should be studying vlsi microprocessor micro uh, controller and edc okay so that's why i have listed out actually the most important subjects which i have already discussed okay so for this company this subjects will be useful next honeywell honeywell is actually an aerospace equipment uh, manufacturer building technologies their main focus is actually on these areas aerospace equipment building technologies performance material and technology then safety and productivity solutions these are their main focus the the subjects that will be useful will be you should study electronic equipments that is the basic electronics you should be studying again electronic measurement and instrumentation you should be studying because they are mainly focusing on the building technologies aerospace so measurements instrumentation will be useful again embedded systems also and microprocessor and microcontroller okay so when you actually go through the description of these companies you will actually get to know that which all areas they are focusing so based on the areas you will understand which all subjects will be useful right so that is actually the way of or method of analysis which i have done okay so you can also do this uh, if you are a job hunter or a job seeker in order to get into a company which all areas you should require you can get from their page okay next nokia we all know that it is a consumer electronics based company so that all areas you should be studying then broadcom lg lg is actually again a consumer based company then broadcom their main focus is on 
uh, networking, broadband, wireless data centers only. So again, wireless communication communication systems will be useful for broadcom. Then next company is Siemens. Okay, so for Siemens, you have to actually uh, study again data acquisition related uh, subjects or DSP signals and systems. Also, measurement and instrumentation because their main focus is actually on electronics pro electronic products that are mainly used for medical diagnostic and medical healthcare and also industrial automation is their main focus. Okay, so th since this is the area, you have to mainly focus on DSP, signal sign system, control systems and also power electronics because they are mainly focusing on medical uh, care, equipment designing, all those areas and also you should be uh, studying uh, DSP because data acquisition, medical systems means data acquisition from uh, the patients and all, right? So you should be studying DSP signals and system, all those areas, okay? So that's all about Siemens. Next company is Videocon again. Uh, Videocon is actually for a uh, television picture to manufacturing company. So you should be studying radio and television thoroughly, okay? Next, Wipro. Wipro is actually a very big consumer electronics manufacturer. So that is the area. Next one is Microsemi. Microsemi is a Microsemi is a chip manufacturing company. They will be uh, designing and developing of miniature uh, chips or microchips. They will be designing. Okay. So the focus should be most on VLSI technology, IC designing, all those areas. Okay. And again, DSP, DSP processors, all this will be useful. Okay. This Microsemi they actually manufacture FPGA boards and also. In order to uh, get into the company, you should be having also embedded system knowledge. Okay, embedded system, DSP, DSP processors, then VLSI, all these subjects will be useful. And also if you have some embedded C knowledge, then it will be very beneficial. Okay, so for Microsoft. Next one, Philips. Philips is again a consumer electronics based company. Okay, so while going through these companies, I could uh, really understand that the subjects which we have discussed in the beginning are very useful. I'm going to tell it once again. Okay, so the subjects, if you conclude for this video, which we have already discussed. Okay, so the subjects that you have to study more on a job oriented way or a more uh, thoroughly or in a more focused way is these subjects. First one, basic electronics, digital electronics, analog electronics, network theory, VLSI and IC design. Very important. Microprocessor, microcontroller and also some basic assembly language. Then EDC in semiconductor theory, networking, computer networking, embedded systems and embedded C knowledge if you have some basic, very advantage, very much advantage. Then wireless technology, analog and digital communication systems, DSP and signal sense system, electronic measurement and instrumentation, control systems, radio and television, and finally power electronics. Okay. So these are the subjects that you should really concentrate or you should more focus on or you should not just study for your exam. You should study for your job or for your lifetime. Okay, so these are the most important subjects that will help you for sure to get into the core companies. Okay, so if you are studying engineering, please give more focus to these subjects. Don't just study or mug up the topics. Okay. So that's all for this video. I'm really hoping that uh, this will help a lot of people out there. This, a lot of people out there will be getting to know that this company is more focusing on this area. So you, you should study the subject more. Okay. So if the video was useful, please do like the video, share the video and do subscribe to the channel. If you're finding the videos useful, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.